Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here. It's Tuesday, so it's time for another video. And today I'm gonna to be making the Weight Watchers Zero Point Cabbage Soup. All right, so you may be asking, what is Zero Point Cabbage Soup? If you've been in Weight Watchers before, or, or like as long as I have off and on over the years, you've heard of it, you might've probably had it before, but if you haven't, this is brand new. And on most of the plans, it is zero points. Now I, when I did it before, when I did Weight Watchers the first time around, I made this a lot because it was zero points. And it's very filling, it's very yummy. And most importantly to me, it tastes like fall. And despite the fact that fall is just about a month away, I'm ready for summer to be over. I'm ready for the leaves to change. I'm ready for the cooler weather, the bonfires, soup. So to kind of like mentally get myself where I want to be, I decided let's make the soup. And plus then I can share it with you guys in case you haven't heard of this before and you can have some yummy, 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 yummy soup for zero freaking points. How amazing is that? All right, so let's get in the kitchen and I'll get started. All right, so first of all, the ingredients. You will be needing uh, broth. So this is fat-free beef broth. You can use chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth. And I really meant to grab the one that was low sodium, but I was at Aldi and I didn't see it, and so I just said, okay. Well, so Tuesday, I'll be eating this. Um, I was wanting to make it the last rest of the week, but closer to my way in, I don't wanna have that much sodium, so I don't know. You will need Italian seasonings. If you do not want to use this, you can definitely just use the basil and, um, what's the other stuff? Oregano. But I was cheap. I could get this for 95 cents or each of those for $1.19 each. So I went that route. And then you will need diced tomatoes. I got two different kinds. I've got the fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then I also got the diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano and then a big old jar of crushed tomatoes. I'll have the actual measurements and recipe in the description box. So, you know, look there for the actual measurements. And then just some spray olive oil. Of course, you will need cabbage. So I got this big old honker. And you'll need two peppers, six cloves of garlic, two carrots, one onion. I went ahead and grabbed zucchini. You can pretty much put whatever kind of vegetables you want in this. I grabbed, not zucchini, it's a yellow squash, and then four stalks of uh, celery. So that's what you'll need. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do is cut up the vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the onion, and let me grab my favorite knife right here. And don't make fun of the way that I cut up things. I am not, I say this every time I cook, I am not a chef. I don't know how you're supposed to do these things, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, I always have issues with the outside of this guy. And I'm losing like half the onion by doing it this way. So, I should really watch a tutorial on the best way to do that. Helps if your knife is facing the right direction as well. And this is all gonna be going in a soup. So whatever your preference is on sizing, it's completely, completely up to you. So I do not like giant bites of onion in soup. So I'm cutting up, I'm gonna be cutting these up pretty small. Somebody commented on my uh, watermelon video saying that they, they could not stop staring at my thumb and hoping it gets out of the way. And now I'm paranoid that my thumb is in the wrong spot and I do not know where it's supposed to go. So uh, it's kind of making me a little nervous. I haven't really paid attention to my thumb and where it's at. So uh, I feel like it's in a safe spot. But maybe it's not. And so yeah, so I like them, um, you know, fairly small. Like it's okay if there's some like, you know, random long pieces, but overall pretty small. And that is going to go 
in a bowl because I want to cut up all of my vegetables first. All right, so we have all of those guys chopped up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash the garlic. So with that, just take a wide knife. All right, so now on my little burner here, I am going to put some of the spray in the, in the pot. And you want to put garlic in there and the onions in there. Let them guys just kind of start sauteing. So then while they're going, we're gonna go ahead and chop up this honker. And you can kind of just cut it up however you want to. Just throw some garlic on that, it's fine. It's all going in the same bin. Now with the cabbage, you do want it to be bite-sized pieces. So let's just start with that. And so you're just gonna chop it up into bite-sized chunks. They're starting to saute, starting to cook down a little bit. So at this point, I'm going to add in the cabbage. And don't worry, it's gonna seem like so much cabbage in this little thing, but it's all gonna cook down some. So it's totally, totally fine. And that just looks like one big old pot of cabbage. Okay, so I cooked that down for probably about five minutes or so. You could go a little bit longer if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and go. And this is when you start adding in your other ingredients. So first all the rest of those vegetables. And if you wanted to, you could totally put the carrots in when you sauteed, but I did not do that. So we'll ignore that step. Okay, so that was all the vegetables and then the beef broth. I really hope I got a big enough pot here, guys. I don't have all the cookware that I used to have when I used to make this. This is actually my roommate's pot. Worst case scenario, I just put half in the here and half in another pot. All right, and this is the diced tomatoes. The other can of diced tomatoes. And then the crushed tomatoes. And then also the four tablespoons of the Italian seasoning. That way this doesn't taste like tomato soup. Okay. 
You're going to just want to work all that together and bring it to a boil. So I want to do that. Be back. All right, so you can see it's starting to boil. Um, I did move over to the stove because that hot plate did not seem like it was getting hot enough. And I just got impatient. I'm pretty sure it would have gotten there because it took a long time on here. Because basically, I think I might have too much cabbage in here, which is rude to say, it feels like. But either way, you can see now that it's really, really starting to boil and everything's starting to soften up and be able to move around easily versus before. I don't know how well you could tell, but I was like barely getting my, my spoon in there. So yeah, so that's going like that. So then at this point, what we do is we turn it down to medium and grab the lid and put it on, but leave it so that it can still steam out a little bit. And you just want to cook that down for about 15, 20 minutes until everything really softens up. All right, so it's been going for about 20 minutes. And see now everything's really cooked down, so it's not quite so overwhelming with all the solid stuff. So now, the thing is, I don't know how many servings this is because it's a giant pot. So what I am going to do is grab another pot. And I am going to take a measuring cup. Let's turn that off. And I am going to literally scoop out one cup servings and dump it into the other pot. So that way I can see how much this, to this is total. All right, so you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm not gonna do all this on camera. So, BRB. All right, so that was the cooking video. Um, at the end of it, I did sit down and was going to eat while I talk, and um, then I spilled it, and it wasn't cute. So I decided not to do that, and instead you get me here, back in my room. The lighting's better in here anyway, so yeah. But anyway, so I did measure it, and everything did come out to be 20 cups, which is kind of cool because that's what I guess it would be. Total pulled that number out of my backside. But yeah, so the information for it, if it is 20 cups, which it is, um, is it would be 0 0.3 bites or points plus per serving. If you are on a different plan, obviously it would be um, different points or different whatever. So I am going to give the nutritional information. Now keep in mind with the nutritional information, if you plug that in, it's counting the vegetables and everything. So you, the values will be different if you just plug in the nutrients. But in the description box below, I'll put down all the ingredients so you can plug it into your own recipe builder and go that route. So if you're doing calories, the first thing is that it's 53.6 calories. And um, as far as the rest, fat. It's 0 0.8 grams of fat. 9.3 grams of carbs, 2.3 grams of fiber, 4.9 grams of sugar, 2.8 grams of protein, and then this is why I was worried about the broth. It's 486.2 grams of sodium for one cup. So that's a lot of sodium, but the rest isn't bad at all. Like, it's awesome. Like, 0 0.3 bites. Can't get much better than that, guys. Um, and then that way you can pair it up with the brioche bread or whatever kind of bread or rolls that you want. You can even make a soup and salad scenario. You can do a soup and a sandwich with the soup being that low in points and calories and everything else besides sodium. You can pair it up with anything and make it really, really good. This also freezes well if you want to save it for later. Packs up well, you know, bring it to lunch for work and things like that. I'm actually wanting to try to start eating more at work so that I'm not trying to eat all my points after work. And that might be something I might bring, but it's soup. It's kind of time consuming to eat. Typically at work, I need to eat quick because I have another customer waiting. So don't know how well that will work. But it is yummy and delicious and I'm happy to have it today. 
and I got to figure out what else I'm going to be eating today because that's not going to be a lot of points. But pairing it up with other stuff. I did get some of the brownie batter hummus from Aldi while I was there and that makes me so happy. I think it's like 12 or 16 points for the whole container. I don't know. I haven't, I didn't sit down and eat the whole container, but I could because the soup is zero points. Freaking awesome. So anyway, enough of that. How is everybody else doing? Hopefully everybody's doing great. Hopefully your week is going well. I mean, it's only Tuesday, but I mean, there's been some Mondays that I was over the week, let's be honest. And so if, and also not everybody weighs in on Sunday like I do. So if you've weighed in since my last thing, comment, let me know. How is that going? How is your journey going? Love to hear about it. And um, one other thing, Friday, I'll be posting, I think it's Friday. Friday or Saturday, holy cow. Hit the bell right below my video. Just go ahead and do it right now because I don't know when I'm posting anything. It's Friday or Saturday. I will be posting a video. The bell will let you know when I post. Um, and it is going to be actually a collab with other channels again. And this time it's actually going to be a Would You Rather game, which is kind of exciting, kind of fun. I'm liking these things that aren't centered around just weight loss. Like, obviously that's a big topic, but it's also, a you know, you can only talk so much about it for so long, especially while I'm on the journey. Um, not a lot happens every single week, so... Stuff like that is actually kind of fun. I'm excited to do it. Uh, I've glanced at the questions. I'm trying not to look at them too much in advance because I want to think on the spot and you know really give an honest answer. So stay tuned for that. And until Friday or Saturday, whichever day I'm supposed to post it, I will talk to you guys later.